We are going to prepare the extraction plates for the Filtris automated viral and bacterial RNA DNA extraction protocol. We will create an extraction mixture for 100 samples. So go ahead and get a 50 mil centrifuge tube and add all of the components for the MYE plate into the 50 mil tube. First, we'll pipette 10 microliters of proteinase K for every sample that you need to prepare the extraction mixture for. Then add two microliters of solution L for each sample you need to prepare the extraction mixture for. For each sample, add 250 microliters of buffer MYE. To complete the MYE mixture, add 500 microliters of isopropanol per sample. The MYE mixture serves to lyse your sample. Add 762 microliters of your MYE mixture to each well of your MYE plate. Add 250 microliters of each sample to your MYE plate. When you're done, allow your MYE plate to incubate for 10 minutes before proceeding. While your MYE plate is incubating, prepare the beads plate by adding 190 microliters of water to each well. Then pipette 10 microliters of the MG Pure beads into each well of your beads plate. Ensure that the beads are well mixed by pipetting up and down. Next, prepare the RNA wash plate. The RNA wash buffer must be prepared by adding 48 milliliters of ethanol to the bottle before use. It's really fine, isn't it? Add 500 microliters of RNA wash buffer to the RNA wash plate. Prepare the elution plate by adding 50 microliters of DEPC treated H2O to each well of the elution plate. Your MYE plate should have been incubated for at least 10 minutes. Add the tip comb for the automated extraction protocol. Select the Filtris automated extraction protocol on your extraction machine. Here we're using a Kingfisher Flex. The Kingfisher Flex will prompt you to add each plate to the appropriate position on the carousel. Hit start after adding each plate.